You know, Frank, I feel like I'm finally doing something with my life, you know? Which is yeah. good because it's about halfway over. As much as half? Well, you consider the average age of a rock star is about 40, and we're almost over half that age, so let's not waste any more time then. Hello? Two words, Nigel. New beginnings. Curtis, where the hell have you guys been? You and Frank both missed practice today. We didn't miss practice. Listen to this. Now, how would I be able to do that? Because you've obviously been drinking. Hey, some like it hot and some like it cold, all right? Life's too short and you're getting old. Here's a lineup. We start at the manhole, then we booze on over to the leaky cow, we close house at Thirsty Beavers, and we crash land at Nina's Treats because everybody knows that Nina doesn't close. Curtis, this is ridiculous, and you know it. There's not a revolving door. This is not Let's go, Curtis. Time to get on the road. You cannot just come and go as you please whenever you want to. Curtis, let's go. All right, don't wait up for me. Can't hear you. Ciao. Bye -bye. Don't you hang up the phone. Don't you hang up the phone. Okay, stop now. Don't. Sit. Sounds like someone's having a... Can you hear me? ...midlife crisis. We're in the living room. Oh. What's going on in here? Why don't you guys just take a seat? Am I in trouble? It's time for a little family conference. You know, the late nights, coming in whenever you want to, smelling like alcohol. Scott is a little bit worried. Alright, it's time for a little bit of reflection, okay? Top three signs your man is having a midlife crisis. Number one, a sudden change in appetite. Curtis, I notice you switched from vanilla to chocolate pudding. It's Black History Month. That's true, Nigel. Uh, number two, he's currently thinking of or already having an affair. Are you guys playing with other bands? No! I'd rather shit a plum. Certainly not. Number three, he makes an outrageous purchase that makes him think he's hip. Or cool or nah. No, it doesn't sound like us at all. Not us at all. You guys bought motorcycles. Yeah, and you didn't buy us one. <laughs> it's not for everyone, Nigel. Excuse me? Well, I think what Kurt is trying to say is not everybody looks good on a chopper. So you're saying that I'm so boring that I can't ride one too? Yes, but you know what you would look good on? A mechanical bull. Or one of those little toy horses in front of the bubble shop. Okay, enough. <laughs> You know this hurts, right? Oh, that hurts? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Well, what about my feelings, hmm? This is supposed to be my midlife crisis, right? I mean, Curtis just wants to have fun. And it's not my fault you guys are so... boring. Okay, that's enough from you. Uh, that is enough. That's enough. What, what are you gonna do, bore me to death? I mean, look, Frank's already asleep. And I'm getting tired listening to all your rubbish. Well then, you better go run upstairs, stop the bath for yourself, to scrub him how your little ears right there. I hope that I don't come up and knock my amplifier into the bath on accident. This just makes me bloody angry. I mean, I feel like they've lost all respect for us. They called us boring. I mean, this morning Curtis used my toothbrush to clean his air filter. There's got to be something we can do. Something that says, we're the cool ones, not you. But what's more cool than a badass motorcycle?
1974 Dodge Dart, the very definition of American muscle. Been watching it for months. It's beautiful. Of course it's beautiful. You can raise an entire family in there. Let's make an offer. That's gay, let's steal it. Scratch. I just got this really eerie feeling, Frank. Like, I just hope Brian and Nigel are alright. We stopped worrying about that stuff a long time ago. But they're our friends, Frank. Eh, who am I kidding? I miss the guys too. I just feel like we're not even a band anymore and it's our fault. Maybe we should make it to practice today. Cook up some new jams or something. Right. Well, solving problems and raising pickles. You know, you got to make sure that the green ones touch the pink ones. Right, right. Otherwise, it won't start. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brian, this is the moment of truth. Let's see. Yeah! yeah! Woo! <laughs> What's going on in here? Hey, the car is ours now, so get out of it! Well, you can kiss my big fat butt. I ain't get out of here for nobody. Oh, come on, that's not what really happened. It was what should have happened. It turns out he'd been living in his car since a recent divorce. Yeah, we felt bad for him, so we went and we bought him some cheeseburgers. I come home to a sliver of cheese and a flat Mountain Dew. I leave home. And I never look back. It's gonna be alright, man. <clears throat> Guys, you gotta cherish what you have. Cause just like that, it could all be gone. I think I know what we need to do. We go home, we tell the band that we love them unconditionally. Enjoy your cheeseburgers, friend. We've got a band to catch. Let's rope. Hey. Hey. Guys, I think we got something to say. We missed you. We know we've been acting pretty stupid. Guys, I don't care who you are, where you're from, or what you do. Just as long as you love us. Stop. You can make me cry. That's all right, Curtis. Grown men cry too, even when they ride motorcycles. Hey guys, I uh, stole these uh, cigars earlier. Thought we could have one last smoke as a band. Unless you guys are still mad at us or something. No, Frank, I don't think that I want one of your cigars. That is not without this bottle of red wine. Oh, oh, there we go. Go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Party up, party down, man. Party, party, party down. Party down. Party down. Party down. Party down. Party down. I think we should live each day like a midlife crisis, packing everything we can into the precious little time that we are given. There's just too much to be said, too many dreams to chase, not to be the person you really are. So have a little bit of respect for yourself, and most importantly, the ones that matter. You'll live a lot longer that way.